So, to make 3D pixel art with Blender, you need three main objects, the camera, the light, and the model you want to pixelate. I downloaded this dancing girl model from the Mixamo site. Now first of all, switch to render view, and make sure you are on every render engine. Once you do that, we will split the workspace and open a material shading. I will start by deleting the textures, then, between the BSDF and the material output, we will add two nodes, first one is the shader to RGB, the second one is a color ramp, now with the color sliders we can control the light and dark areas on the model. So I will insert couple of hex codes for the colors, then to show it, we need to increase the light power in the lamp. We also need those colors to be sharp edges, so in the color ramp, switch it from linear to constant type. We can also double click here to add a new brighter color, this will make it on three shades. Now once we're done with the main body, we can go into edit mode, select any part of the model, and assign it to a new material, then we copy the node set from the first one and change the color a bit to make the body parts look different. So I will select the glasses and the hair and give each of them a different gradient. I did also experiment with the lighting, and the smaller the light size the better it look on those pixel art type of animations, with big light size you get weird glitches on the gradient, so make it on 0.1 or half that value. Now in every render settings, keep the render samples on 1, and in the film tab, give the filter size the lowest value. We also need to experiment with the frame size, and I find it usually around 64 to 96 for both X and Y dimensions, so make it around this value and render it to see how it looks. Once you're done, you need to set up the render settings for a PNG sequence and render the animation with transparent background, after that, to fix the animation size, cause we render it with small frame and this won't appear if you share it online, so we need to open a new blender file, fix the camera location to center it on the world origin, and import the image sequence as a plane, make sure to check the animate image sequence button, and once you import it, fix your new camera frame to around 1080. Scale the image sequence to fit the new frame. We also need to open the material shading, and connect the color to the emission input to fix the lighting cause the video is quite dark, and for the blurriness in it, you need to switch the image from a linear to closest, and that's it, hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me your thoughts down below, and as always, stay sharp guys, goodbye.